because I distinctly remember being stubborn as anything. Once I started a game, I'd keep at it till it was done, which did lead to you and I getting into fights sometimes, but we always had Hoski to step in and sort us out. Huh, I don't quite remember that either. Again with the selective memory, huh? Congratulations, Mizuki. You're officially an adult. Not today, I'm not. Come on, we have another game store to raid. Upgrade our PPs while we're here. Wow! Speak of the knuckleheads, and there they be. Oh, hey, Ahasuki. What brings you two lovebirds to this neck of the woods? Well, um. We wanted to get you a gift to celebrate your discharge from the hospital. One of those games we always used to play. A hospital discharge gift, huh? Are you okay, Hazuki? Sorry. I just felt really down all of a sudden. Why would that be? It might have something to do with you wanting to celebrate my discharge from the hospital, maybe? I fail to see how. It just warms the cockles of my heart to see how much you two have grown up, is all. Both because you thought to buy me something, and because you were worried about me, makes this big sis proud. Are you okay, Mizuki? In less emotional news, what game were you planning on picking up, Asahi? Oh yeah, that. You remember that one game we used to play all the time, Super Crash Sisters? Whoa! For reals? So you do remember it? Remember it? I just bought it! Seriously? Seriously. I just popped into some store with a crazy name to see what they were selling, and there it was! Wait, was this place...? Uh, I think it was on the side streets. Seeing it just punched me right in the nostalgia. So you were the one who ganked it right before we arrived. Who ganked what now? Oh, nothing. I'm just glad this all worked out so well in the end. Now let's go get our KOs on! Sorry, but I don't think I can do that. You can't? Why not? When this is all over... I wonder if you'll even want to play games with me. What does that mean? When saving, do be careful not to overwrite a sibling's data. I have a feeling something important is about to happen to us. Better get ready! The live show starts real soon! Hmm, live, you say? Mm-hmm. Interested? <laughs> Let's get hyped together! A live show, huh? You want to go see it? I do. But even more than that, what I really want to do is perform. Without the help of a delusion, through my own strength, I want to stand up and perform before a live audience. Love the enthusiasm. Let's show everyone what you're made of with that, um, fresh new tune of yours. That's all well and good, but we can't perform a concert without a proper venue, now can we? Hmm. Yeah, finding a venue will be kind of a challenge, won't it? Oh! Well, what is it? I think I know a place! Sing a song, babe, today for you. No one else here, these planes, my stages. Oh, yeah, where that weirdo was performing earlier. Yep, exactly. We'll need equipment, though, won't we? Equipment, you say? Let me tell you a little story. I'm the proprietor of Silver Sound. It's an audio specialty store here in Akihabara. Been running it for nearly 20 years now. That's an awfully 
long time to run a business here. I hear you, but Silver Sound will cover all your audio needs, amps, speakers, headphones, you name it, we got it. That owned a dude should have us covered, at least if his sales pitch is to be believed. I think he was on Junk Street. Welcome to Silver Sound. Hi. Um, we're looking to put on a live show. You happen to sell any equipment we could use for that? A live show, huh? Yeah! I want everyone to hear my awesome new song! But I don't even have a single speaker or microphone to my name. Oh, so you're talking gear then. Who boy, are you in for a treat. Frankly, I'm kind of shocked that a young kid like you's got such an interest in audio kit. So do you have anything I could work with? Oh yeah, for sure. Though I really can't recommend buying this kind of gear without doing your research beforehand. How come? Well, take speakers, right? If you're the discerning type, they can jump up in price pretty fast. And if you're not, well, cheap ones can get pretty crackly. Low price begets low quality. That's the way the audio world rocks and rolls, my friend. Aw, I should have known. But I don't think that'll be a problem for you. Huh? Speaker or no speaker, if you pack your song full of feeling, the crowd will go wild every time. <laughs> Might lose my audiophile card if people ever caught me saying stuff like that, though. I really do believe in the power of music. A voice chock full of emotion can pass through walls that even the strongest audio equipment can't rattle. So, give it your all, and I know you'll be just fine. Okay, thank you. Right then, once you got the deets worked out, by all means, give me a holler. I'll be right here, always am. He's right, isn't he? Mippity? Mr. Onda reminded me of something. I may not be dependent on a delusion anymore, but I was still about to put all my faith in some audio equipment. Asahi. I'm not gonna rely on gear anymore either. It's gonna be all me from here on out. Oh, respect. Um, but I guess that leaves us back at square one. What do we do now? <sighs> yeah, that is the question, isn't it? Made to order food and drinks. Dine with us and say we made your day. Bring this flyer in for a free drink. Made you look. What is? Flyers. We can make a flyer for my performance. Oh, okay. That sort of makes sense. <laughs> After all, if they don't know the venue, how can they show up? Let's do it, Mippity. We can go to UBX to have them, uh, made. Me? Either way, UBX is said to be the cheap printing capital of Akiba. Great! I'll put my heart into some handmade flyers so people will come see me sing. Before moving on. Okay, we should be able to make all the flyers we need right here. What do you mean? Done and done. Oh, wow, they're really cute. But, uh, there's no date or venue written on them anywhere. Well, I mean, with the way things have been lately, we can't exactly commit to a date, now can we? 
No, I suppose not. So I'll just add the date by hand later. 